Good day, Earth Science students. Welcome to video lecture, episode 6. Today we're in section 2 of chapter 15. Remember, chapter 15, we're dealing with the atmosphere. Well, now we move into the section titled Energy Transfer in the Atmosphere. And it has three main topics that we're going to cover, and that is energy from the sun, heat, and the water cycle. Now let's talk about the objectives that we have for this section. They are the first objective is describe what happens to the energy Earth receives from the sun. The second objective, compare and contrast radiation, conduction, and convection. And the third and final objective for this section is explain the water cycle. So let's go ahead and dive in. Energy from the sun. The sun provides most of the energy on Earth. This energy drives winds and ocean currents and allows plants to grow and produce food, providing nutrient for many animals. Now when Earth receives energy from the sun, three different things can happen to that energy. If you look at the image at the bottom of slide 79, you'll see an example of what I mean. Some energy is reflected back into space by clouds, atmospheric particles, and Earth's surface. Some is absorbed by the atmosphere, and then the rest is absorbed by land and water on the Earth's surface. Now let's talk about heat. Heat is the energy that flows from an object with a higher temperature to an object with a lower temperature. Energy from the sun reaches Earth's surface and heats objects such as roads, rocks, and water. Now if you look on slide 81, you'll notice the middle image there illustrates what we're talking about, how heat is flowing from something that is warmer to something that's cooler. Now let's move into slide 82. Heat, after it has of course reached the Earth's surface and heats up object, heat is then transferred through the atmosphere in three ways, and that's through radiation, conduction, and convection. And if you look on slide 82, I have an image that represents those three forms in which it is transferred through the atmosphere. So let's get into radiation first. Let's start there. Sitting on the beach, you feel the sun's warmth on your face. How can you feel the sun's heat even though you aren't in direct contact with it? Think about that just for a moment. How is it? Well, let's talk about how that happens. Well, energy from the sun reaches Earth in the form of radiant energy or radiation. It can be called either one. Radiation is energy that is transferred in the form of rays or waves. All right. Earth radiates some of the energy it absorbs from the sun back towards space. Radiant energy from the sun is what warms your face, and that's how even though you're not in direct contact, it still is able to warm you up. Now let's talk about that second type, and that's conduction. Now if you were to walk barefoot on a hot beach, your feet heat up because of conduction. That's what heats your feet up. Conduction is the transfer of energy that occurs when molecules bump into one another. Now if you look on slide 86, you can see that illustrated in the image there with the hand picking up the pot of a boiling water. Let's continue our discussion on conduction. Well, molecules are always in motion. Just keep that in mind just in case you run into wear. But molecules in warmer objects move faster than molecules in cooler objects. So when objects are in contact, energy is transferred from the warmer object to the cooler object. Okay? Radiation from the sun heated the beach sand, but it's the direct contact with the sand that warmed your feet. In a similar way, Earth's surface conducts energy directly to the atmosphere. Think about that. Now let's go ahead and close our discussion for today, finishing up on conduction. As air moves over warm land or water, molecules in the air are heated by direct contact. So just want you to be thinking about these concepts. Now tomorrow we're going to pick up in convection and move a little bit further. Have a nice day, and I do hope this helps.